Hi guys, VST here, Venus Peace Tech. The second video from the Sirius OnePlus 8 Pro tips and tricks. You pretty much know I did already the first video, which is the OnePlus 8 Pro tips and tricks the display. So I'm gonna link it here on the right corner, guys. The idea of the Sirius is really to help you master Oxygen OS. Right? And I know a new version is coming which is OS Oxygen 11 and yes it might be it will be a little bit different it might look a little bit like Samsung One UI but still you know it is Oxygen OS so mastering Oxygen OS 10 will help you also understand Oxygen OS 11 which is coming for I think the latest OnePlus devices all right this time we want to talk about home screen customization tips right so very important guys first thing we covered was the display and then of course after you have mastered the display and all the settings related to the display you might want to start customize your phone and of course you will start with the home screen so how can you fit more apps on the home screen now what kind of live wallpapers or any kind of other wallpapers you can choose how can you change the icon shape or the style you know can you hide the icon labels how can you show all the apps on the home screens change the quick setting style shape or let's say choose a preset already or even customize the accent color set up the ambient display clock style change the horizon light color notification the, even the fingerprint animation right all of these things i want to show you in this video so if you know some of these things still you are more welcome to watch the full video right so how can you fit more apps on your home screen right so guys what you need to do is just go to the home screen settings so you just have to long press somewhere and then you can go to home settings right and then of course there is going to be a setting called home screen setting now in this case because i'm using oneplus 8 pro have the latest launcher it's called home screen layout so from here apparently you can go and change the grid so you can go 3x5 or 3x6 right also you can go icon size choose small icons medium icons or even you know if you want to go you can go with big icons right and also up names like i told you you can apparently change the names like removing them already like if i press hide up names i will have no up names actually i'm going to show you guys i'm going to go now and change all to big icons and i'm just going to play settings and now right now i have a very clean and unified custom look no i only know what apps i have no names now if you want to revert this of course you need to go back here home screen layout you're gonna get the app names back and i'm gonna get to the medium size of the icons okay so that's the first thing how can you choose some stock live wallpapers now it's again very simplistic you just need again to press like this and then you can see here you have a wallpaper setting you can go to wallpaper and some of the wallpapers will have an icon like this if you choose an icon like this it will mean that the wallpaper is animated so let's just go for that one i will apply this one okay and now we're gonna see as i unlock the phone you know it is a live moving wallpaper very nice and precise animation okay now this oneplus live wallpapers they do have this animation and the idea is always if you don't want to go for an animate wallpaper you need to choose the wallpapers that have this very small icon at the top left corner right now again speaking about icons and shapes there are further things you can just change so if you go to settings home settings again and then if you want to use some other icons guys you can go to icon pack now right now you can see i have the oxygen icons of course here i have also the hydrogen icons if i apply the hydrogen icons you're gonna see how i get really this icon they pretty much look like icons from miui 11 or miui 12 already now if you want to apply some new icons you just need to go to icon pack and then there is a button called more it will go to play store right now i'm offline but if you go to play store and then you can apparently download some new and different icon packs some of those are paid some of those are free there are really a lot a lot of options okay now what is going to be the next thing i want to show you guys how you can choose a preset theme now while i'm doing the review you see i'm using a dark theme now if you want to change the theme guys what you need to do is just go to settings and then there is something called customization 
When I click on the customization, guys, you can see I have a section called system customization. So apparently I can go and I can change the accent color for the buttons. You can see here we have a section called tone. Now if we go to tone, I can go to dark, I can press that one and we can just see how I am gonna have like a new theme, everything dark here, icons are gonna be round. Now you can apparently change the accent color. Now I have changed my buttons to the red to get like a more of a like one plus color. And then you can see if I do it like this, it's gonna be very neat and everything actually even the settings menu you know all the icons here are going to be in red so let's spend some more time in customization because i think that's important i showed you guys how you can change the whole tone i showed you how you can change the accent color but there are more than things so we can apparently change the icon pack from here it's the same like we did already from the home settings but you can also change the system icons. So if you click on system icons, now you can go with round ones, which is currently my choice, or let's go with the teardrop ones. Let's select teardrop, let's apply this one. Now you're gonna see I have some teardrop icons there. The beauty of this is when you do this, okay, that you're gonna get like a real preview in this small window here. So you see the information is changing already here. Usually I stay with the round one, so let's select round and I'll press the apply here, okay. Last but not least here, we have a font. Now on the OS Oxygen 10, you know, we have like two options. You can use the standard font, which is not a sans, or you can go for the OnePlus Late, which I do recommend. So this is the standard font, this is a sample text, and this here is the Never Settle OnePlus Slate font. Now we know there is already a new sans font in the OS Oxygen 11, but if you're running like me, the 10, this is the way to go. Okay, there are further customization we can do. I've showed you guys how to change the wallpapers. Now let's see how we can change the lock styles on the lock screen. We have a menu here called lock screen customization. And from this menu, we can change the clock styles. We can change the fingerprint animation and we can also change the horizon light, which is actually the light effect we get when we receive a new notification and the phone is on the table. So let's go for the clock style. Right now in this very latest version of OS Oxygen 10, I have already a lot of updates and a lot of new clock styles. So let's get, let's say, for example, let's use this one here. So I'm gonna apply that one. So I'm gonna show you guys, if you just tap once, we're gonna get here this very nice clock. And if I tap twice, I'm gonna get direct to the lock screen. Uh, by the way, fingerprint animation is also a subject to change. So right now I'm using the energy one, but we can go for the stripe one. So let me just show you how this works. If I go for the stripe one, see it's so quick, by the way, probably not even gonna notice. But I can tell you, you know, it's there and it works. By the way, you can also go for none, right? Now, yeah, you see, there is no animation, okay? But let's go and let's use, by the way, here, the Cosmos one, because I think this is the most noticeable one. If we go for the new one, you see, boom, Cosmos, okay? And last but not least, as I promised you guys, you can change the horizon light. If somebody's sending you a message, you're gonna get a notification. And if the phone is untouched on the table, you know, it's gonna light in this very nice color. So usually I stay with the blue one, but it's really up to your personal choice. All right, guys, I think that's enough for this video. So we went through some of the home settings and the customization to really help you further master the Oxygen OS and, you know, set up your phone. In the next video, we're gonna see what we can do with the navigation and gestures and all the buttons. So stay tuned for the next video. And until this time, if you have liked this video, yeah, you know what to do. Please like, subscribe to my channel. And with that said, if you see, over and bye.